Yeah, the 50, man, what a life-changing uh, experience. Um, my wife and I had many uh, intimate conversations where we said, this is going to be big, but we just don't know how big. And uh, it, it has definitely opened up some doors. Um, it pushed me to some mental and physical limits that I never thought I would, would have to try to overcome. I don't think I'm above or better than anybody else. Yet I was able to accomplish something that nobody else has ever been able to accomplish. I felt like I was really backed into a corner when we, when we lost everything in 2008. And uh, that was a moment where I decided, I'm either gonna allow this to define me and continue to beat me into the ground, or I'm gonna realize that I have to wake up every single day and that's a choice that I get to make. And I can have absolute control and power over my future. Everybody asks, how do you, how do you have the balance or the motivation or to include family and do what you do? And uh, it, it's easy for me. They're, they're, without the family there, there's nothing else. This is the real James Lawrence. Everyone has a story and this is mine. This is the real Tevin Former right here. This is the real Dustin Poirier. This is the real Michael Chandler. This is the real James. The Beast Wilson. Everyone has a story. But this is mine. This one's mine. This one is mine. The 50-50-50 is 50 full iron distance triathlons in 50 consecutive days, one in every state. Mentally, I'm more, I'm more confident once we've passed halfway. There's just something about counting down and not counting up, <laughs> knocking them off. It's good, it's good mentally. My name is James Lawrence. I am known as the Iron Cowboy. I live here in beautiful Linden, Utah. I got introduced to triathlons about a decade ago. And uh, man, I, I haven't looked back. And uh, never ever in my wildest dreams thought that it would put me on this path, on this direction, and I would end up here. Um, what a dream. The 50, man, what a life-changing uh, experience. Um, my wife and I had many uh, intimate conversations where we said, this is gonna be big, but we just don't know how big. And uh, it, it has definitely opened up some doors. Um, it pushed me to some mental and physical limits that I never thought I would, would have to try to overcome. But what a blessing it is when we're backed into a corner and, uh, and have to overcome some adversity. And uh, the things you learn about yourself and uh, the doors that it's opened now and, and the person that I've been able to, to be and overcome. Awesome, nice to meet you. Amy, nice to meet you. So we got two, we got one for our son. Okay. He needs as much, he's 15. Okay. He's struggling with motivation. Sure. So his name is Jake. Coming off the 50, they said, the only reason you were able to do that was because you're genetically gifted. And I was like, nah, man, I'm just like you. And, uh, and I think that's really cool for people to realize is that you don't have to be a Shaquille O'Neal. You don't have to be a Simone Biles. You don't have to be this genetic perfect package and then find your sport. My, my goal is to just have you open your minds. I'm here to tell you today that the next step isn't gonna kill you. Um, I think it's the greatest gift to realize that, that we have the gift of passion, belief, conviction. Uh, one of my favorite athletes, Conor McGregor, is quoted as saying, you're not looking at talent, you're looking at obsession. And uh, we all have unlimited amounts of obsession. And it's how we apply that and attack things. Um, once I found out uh, that I truly was completely normal, um, I can apply that to any part of my life, and so can you. And to just to go out and realize that I can have as much belief and conviction, as passion as I want for any topic, life is yours, man. Guys, thank you so much. Um, I knew getting on the other side of the 50 
mine and my family's life would change. And uh, now I have the opportunity to go around the world and, and tell our simple story. And uh, what, a, what a blessing it is to have that impact. And during the 50, so many people reached out and helped us out. And uh, my wife and I, we just have this burning desire to help people out now and to give back. And we want to help empower people. Uh, I, I tour around the world and I see people just like living standard mediocre lives. And they're not happy with it. And uh, my hope and dream is with our story, we can help open people's minds to uh, create their own path, their own future, by being unique, by being them, and going out and attacking life. You cannot go out and I have a red And you make fun of me for saying old people things all the time, and yet here we are playing couples connect. Did you think I'm the one that created this game? I played with James's elderly family. His grandma, <laughs> and it's her favorite his mom, game. his grandma's aunt. Because, and he makes fun of me, because she makes fun of me because I say will do. Like it's, do you know why else I love it? Play. Because I love card games. It's the only one anybody will play with me. No one will play with me. Do you know how to play gin rummy? That's my favorite. Can you focus for the this next five minutes so we can explain this? The head of okay, all right, all right. Life's crazy sometimes, man. Uh, yeah, when we announced the 50, it was an overwhelming, um, you know, flood of negativity. Uh, I, I lost some close friends because uh, the, the haters, the haters that come out, they're, they're jealous. Um, I, I can't, I can't think of any other reason. Um, it was a, it was an interesting experience for us to go through as a family, and, and you know, start to realize who our real friends were, and and um, you know, who who really supported us, and uh, who loves us, and uh, ultimately who we were going to surround ourselves in order to take this leap, and uh, collectively as a group, we, we got uncomfortable, and uh, and and then obviously went out and and did something that was, uh, you know, out of this world, remarkable. I've been working really hard, and this is uh, the build of my dream house. And so uh, it's not done, but let's go inside, and I'll show you around it. So down down here, uh, you know, my, my 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 wife's parents they lost everything in the economy as well, and uh, so they they've been living with us, and so we've we built out this whole basement for them to to live live in and make sure that they're comfortable. And so super super excited to give back to them. They're, they're really nice people. People say the only reason he was able to do the 50 was because uh, he was rich and single. And uh, it's so far from the truth. I mean, we, we bootstrapped the last decade. We lost everything in 2008 when, when the economy crashed. That was a moment where I decided, I'm either gonna allow this to define me and continue to beat me into the ground, or I'm gonna realize that I have to wake up every single day and that's a choice that I get to make. And I can have absolute control and power over my future. When they took everything away from me, I just had this intense amount of resolve that they were never going to do that again and uh, I just woke up every day and I went to work and uh, I went to work on me I went to work on my passions and uh, next thing I know this is, this is where we are and we're doing we're doing this interview Mark right right ew, ew. oh you got to see this oh my girls I can't believe it she's so basically basic she's literally making me sick this is embarrassing ew, ew. I get to speak on stage around the world and every time I finished speaking they were like we have to hear your wife's side of the story and uh, really none of this happens without Sunny um, we we plan it together we discuss it together we execute it together she has her very important role I have my, my very important role and uh, it's interesting because we were on the same journey but we had very different perspectives of the journey and uh, None of it happens without me and none of it happens without her. I always say that nothing great is ever accomplished on our own. And uh, with our story, it couldn't be further um, from the truth. No, couldn't be further from the truth? Couldn't be closer to the truth? Couldn't be... We're a team. Huge question we always get is how do you balance family life with what you do and all the training and you know our, our sport tends to get the reputation of being a little bit selfish. Um, you have time for what you make time for and, and what you prioritize. And for me, my family is number one priority before anything else. Um, I make sure that we get up 
and do our workouts and do it when the kids are occupied and doing other things. And then it's very important for Sunday night to be home, be there for the kids in the morning, make breakfast, see them off to school and make sure that, that they've got a great start to their day. And so for me, make, making breakfast with and for my kids is uh, really one of the highlights of my day and, and something that I take a lot of joy in. Hey, ah, Jamesy. what matters is 10 frames. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah, yeah. Rule number one in life. That's right. For me, the thing I'm most proud of is my family. Um, my kids, my wife, and us staying together. Today's day and age, being married 18 years is special, I think. And, uh, and we're, we're getting stronger and stronger every day. And so, w without question, my, my greatest accomplishment and achievement is, is my family and the time and, and everything that we get to create. And being a father is very, very special. James Lawrence is a father and a husband and uh, a family man who really enjoys his time and wants to do anything he can to, uh, to create memories. And the Iron Cowboy is a bad, bad man. And, uh, that guy gets backed into a corner. It's uh, incredible what he can accomplish. I challenge everybody to find their Iron Cowboy and whatever that means to you. Because when you get backed into a corner, it's going to be important to have you and your alter ego. Yeah.